Well, hello there. <clears throat> Greetings and welcome. It's Father Francis, and uh, you are looking at a, um, well, I wouldn't say a live recording, because it's, uh, it's live now, but when you watch it, it won't be. But uh, <laughs> this is a, uh, a little uh, video of my new Snow Leopard uh, desktop set up here. Uh, I don't know if you can see how beautiful these pictures are and the detail. It's almost like you're right there. You know, remember that movie in Star Wars where they kind of fly around into the into the mountains there? I mean, yeah, wow. Just like in Star Wars, right? Okay, so as you can see, I'm kind of flying around here. My virtual uh, Star Destroyer here. Not Star Destroyer, but... Uh, uh, let me get this closed out here. I don't know why that's up there again, but it is. Anyway, look at look how beautiful that is. I mean, just look at that. I mean, it looks like you're really just truly flying right in there to that to that building, and you and then you're zooming and fly around again. Okay. All right. So why am I showing you these really magnificent pictures? And uh, I forgot where I got these. Uh, they're just awesome. They're just awesome pictures. Um, but uh, I think I actually downloaded them from a, an Apple store, not an Apple website or something. Okay, so enough of that. Enough, enough flying around and playing around with my new uh, virtual airplane. Okay, so I am making this video to all of you on uh, Friday the 30th. It's almost Halloween. <laughs> Maybe we ought to have a new a new thing called the evil chortle you know and you try to you know do the most menacing laugh you can I think of one of my friends named Steve uh, in Fairfield and he's had got a great uh, chortle a menacing laugh <laughs> anyway tis the season okay this is a snow leopard update and I'm just going to uh, be pretty honest with all of you and let you know that I, you know I was kind of got scratched by the temperamental kitty and um, so basically what happened was about um, three weeks ago I've been sick for the last two weeks oh I know I feel uh, everyone together now oh okay uh, <clears throat> but part of that had to do with trying to re rebuild my uh, system here okay um, when I did the upgrade, uh, as many of you know from my previous video on Snow Leopard, uh, I had problems. Uh, a lot of my software didn't work, okay? So we're not going to go there. Uh, that's the past. Now, thanks to uh, Steve at Steve's Mac Fix, thanks Steve, uh, he recommended and showed one of his uh, tutorials on how to do a clean install of Snow Leopard. Now, at first you might think, well, man, that means I'm going to wipe out everything, obviously. All my files, all my music, all my pictures, okay. Well, most of us certainly have external hard drives or we back it up some way or another. And uh, that's what we do, okay? And that's what I did. But uh, I have to say that when I did do a clean install and do the first update to Snow Leopard, uh, everything worked. Okay? So, now, uh, this is not so much a mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, uh, confession here but it is uh, to let you know that even though I did do a clean install and everything seems to be working pretty well with the exception of QuickTime 10 there's still a little bug there where it's supposed to I think upload directly to YouTube and it doesn't it just uh, it just doesn't do that now maybe there's a new uh, update coming or maybe there's I just updated again uh, on, uh, just a few minutes ago maybe there was an update for for that in the pro apps uh, section I don't know but anyway the bottom line is uh, QuickTime 10 still seems to have some problems. In fact, I'm using QuickTime 10 to record this video. We'll see the quality and let's see if I can get it to uh, upload to YouTube. Not directly from its YouTube, but from its QuickTime 10 uploader, but just, you know, just basically encoding it as an MP4 and then just uploading it like I normally do, which would be fine. I, I can live with that. Here's my problem though, <clears throat> and even though I, I love Snow Leopard, the pictures here, I mean, here's the thing. I got two brand new hard drives and on one hard drive I cloned my original operating uh, Leopard drive. I've had no problems with that. 
and uh, but I, I left it as it was I did not do another update another upgrade I just left it just basic leopard so and it's got a whole bunch of disk space you know so uh, no problems there in fact I will say this that when I did upgrade from tiger to leopard it was the best upgrade experience I have ever had no problems whatsoever so I assume Snow Leopard would be the same. Well, because I think the bottom line is going from 32-bit to 64-bit, uh, that's going to make a big, huge difference. And if there's going to be some, there's going to be some uh, problems. And then they're, they're just, you know, that's just part of life. I mean, uh, we all have problems. Okay, there's always trade-offs. Maybe that's a better way to look at it. But here's the thing: I did uh, get another drive, and in my Mighty Mac Pro, love my Mighty Mac Pro. Uh, was able to uh, you know have a brand new Snow Leopard uh, clean install and I tell you what it, it's nice it's beautiful I mean it's almost like I have two computers uh, almost for the price of one or yeah actually for the price of one or the price of two hard drives two terabyte hard drives so the bottom line is uh, it works fine however now again there's a little bit of caveat mTOR here um, got to be aware of a few things. Uh, when I did a clean install, it, you know, it all worked. There was no conflicts, obviously. But I had to reload all of my software, and it took a long time to reload all of my um, Final Cut Pro, uh, Shake. Did I upload Shake yet? Yeah, Shake's there. Yeah, I see Shake there, too. Okay, so uh, it took at least a weekend to install, reinstall, I mean, from the very beginning, uh, Final Cut Pro Studio and Shake and some other applications. Uh, to date, I have not been able to uh, migrate my third-party uh, applications to Snow Leopard. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to do that, to be honest with you, but um, some of them work fine on Leopard, and if I need to do some work in that, I can just certainly do the work there, save it, and you know, drop it in the, the Snow Leopard disk, and or, or at least at least encoded into into Final Cut, so it'll it'll read in the in the Final Cut in Snow Leopard. Uh, the programs I'm basically talking about are FX Home video editing programs, which are pretty good, but uh, I never really did use a, use them a lot. I have to be honest, although they look like they were very promising. I just I had to, just had never got around to fully learning them. And then the other uh, one was um, Particle Illusion Three. Uh, which looks like it has some really great um, alpha effects channels and uh, really neat uh, video effects. So unfortunately, uh, I was not able to um, move that over to Snow Leopard, but possibly I will be in the future. But essentially, I'm just this is a Snow Leopard update saying that for the most part, I'd say 95%. Uh, it's doing great. Uh, really like it. Um, there's a little bit of a speed increase, although I have to be honest with you, I have been using more of more of my Leopard only because of I got involved with some projects uh, that I started there, and I just don't want to have to, you know, try to migrate all those over to Snow Leopard right now. Although I probably could, and that wouldn't be a problem. But I'm just going to probably just finish those projects in there. It's a um, Keynote. Oh, by the way, by the way, let me um, rave about Keynote. Uh, that's an awesome program. Those of you who have used it know what I'm talking about. Uh, I never did do power. Well, I did do PowerPoint when I was in the army, but that was 10 years ago. So where that's like now it's like a pre-Cambrian period, you know, when it comes to software and um, and computers and stuff. But uh, if you haven't, if you don't have a copy of Keynote 09 Pages, you know, the, basically the iWork, uh, Apple iWork stuff, it's great. Um, I'm telling you what it. it it does some fantastic stuff, and it's pretty easy to learn, pretty pretty quickly. Uh, so again, a big big plug for Keynote. Most of you probably already know what I'm talking about, and probably know, you know, you probably know a lot more Keynote secrets than I'll ever know. But still, I just love that program. It's great, and I have a presentation I have to do in two weeks, and I was sweating bullets, and then I finally found uh, salvation in Keynote. <laughs> So it's working out really well. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, that's a Snow Leopard update for me. And again, uh, like I said, um, basically the, the end of this whole thing is this. I have basically two operating systems, uh, which many Mac people um, obviously have. It's not a big, big secret. It's not a big deal. Uh, but the bottom line is that it's kind of nice because, you know, you can do a lot of work. Um, so, but Snow Leopard's got some interesting things, and I think it's got... It certainly is. Obviously, it's now the new platform of the the Apple uh, future here, so you got to have it. So, but so you know, but you can still have Leopard 2 and 
and run them both um, and it's, it's it actually it's a good world so I just wanted to just let uh, all the viewers yeah you know, all my viewers yeah right uh, know uh, about the, my um, latest uh, snow leopard adventures dun, 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 dun. and it's actually pretty good so I hope uh, you enjoyed that hope you got something out of it and uh, we'll probably see you on the next video let me fly this in here yeah. see you later